even the child is loved by Himalayans, by weather. His conduct is care and right. Proverbs twenty eleven. Cast your care on our shame, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Psalms fifty five twenty two. You want to do another one? Yeah. Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and to not forsake your mother's teaching. They will guard you with grace on your head and chain to a door. Your neck, Proverbs, one, eight, two, nine. Yeah, I did great. You did. He has told you, oh man. What is good? What does our shem require of you? But to do justice, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your Elohim. Micah six eight. Shalom. Just an explanation on the scriptures. Cast your cares onto Hashem, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Psalms 55:22. Cast, to cast, throw away, toss, cares, something that you really think about and that you might love or admire. On Hashem, your Elohim, Yahuwah, and He will sustain. Sustain means to help, assist, comfort you. He will never. Let the righteous, good, fall, be hurt. Allow the righteous to fail, to fall. Psalms fifty-five twenty-two, Proverbs one eight through nine. Listen, my son, to your father's instructions, things that your father may talk to you about. Do not forget, forsake, forget. Stop thinking about. Don't do. Don't obey. Don't listen to your mother's, your ima teachings. What she is showing you. Don't forget what she is telling you. Her actions, what she does, everything that your mother and your father is doing. Do not forget it. They will guard you with grace. On your head, you'll be blessed. You'll be smart. You'll think and have discernment. And a chain to adorn on your neck. Adorn means to put on. Having riches or something righteous on. Have blessings. The Book of Sirach also says this: being good to your father, having grace. When you forgive your father. It forgives sin. When you be good to your mother and you listen, you get blessings. Micah six eight. He has told you, O、oh、man, the person, the being, you, what is good, Tob, and what does Hashem your Elohim, Yahuwah, what does He require? What did He instruct? Of you, or require for you to do, what is his instructions? What did he entail? But to do justice, like a superhero. Justice, what is right, what is good, what is lovely, what is peaceful, and to love mercy. Show mercy on those that do not know the way. Be kind. Be patient, and to walk humbly. To walk, in this case, to walk. How you move? Are you going to be obedient to your parents? Make sure that you listen and guard what they say. Where are you going? 
How are you moving? How are you walking in this way? To walk humbly. How are you moving humbly? What is humbly? Being low, being low to the ground, being meek, being modest, humble. Allow yourself not to be proud, not to be boastful, humble. With your Elohim, Micah 6 8. Let's listen to more. Joshua 1 7 through 9. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moshe gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For Hashem, your Elohim, will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 7-9 Proverbs 2011 Even a child is known, is known to know, to be aware of. Being able to see one's personality, to have knowledge. Even a child is known. I know how that child acts by the way they obey their mother and their father. Do they obey or do they disobey? Even a child is known by his actions. What are actions? Obeying, dancing, moving, eating, walking, talking. Are they good actions? Are they bad? What do bad actions look like? Are they not obeying? Are they disobeying? Are they being rude? They're being rude. Action, a action word. Are they doing something good or are they doing something bad? Are they doing something tob or ra? Actions. You can know a child by his actions. If the child is doing good, they are a good child. If the child is listening to their father and their mother while they are in the store, they are listening. They are sitting down when their parents were cross. They are not moving and jumping in the carts when their family, when their parents tell them, don't do that. Sit down. Actions. When a child is known by his actions, whether his conduct. What is conduct? How a child or a person acts. How one acts. Conduct. Are they good or are they bad? Are they tobe or are they raw? Their behavior. By whether his conduct, how they act, is pure. Is it good? No impurities. No raw in them. Pure and right. Is it righteous? Correct. Ding, ding. Are they doing something that is tobe? Are they doing something that is functional to what their parents say? What is right? Even a child is known by his actions, by whether his conduct is pure and right. Proverbs 20:11. Proverbs 22 6 Start children off on the way they should go and even when they are old they will not turn from it. Proverbs 23 22 Listen to your father who gave you life and do not despise your mother when she is old. Let's read some more scriptures. Deuteronomy 6 4 English Hear, O Israel, Yahuwah our Elohim, Yahuwah is one, and you shall love Yahuwah your Elohim with all your heart, and with all your being, and with all your might. The Shabbat in Hebrew 
Shama O Israel Yehua Elahenu Yehua Aka Wahata E Yehua Elaheka Bakala Babka Obi Kona Sheka Obi Kome Odeka Proverbs three fifty six Trust in Hashem, your Elohim, with all your heart, and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. He will make you a good path, an easy path, not difficult, not a hard path. Being a coyote person, being a coyote woman especially. Proverbs 31 who can find a capable wife? For she is worth far more than rubies. The heart of her husband shall trust her, and he has no lack of gain. She shall do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She shall seek wool and flax, and with delight she works with her hands. She shall be as the ships of Tarshish. She brings in her food from afar. She also raises while it is still night and provides food for her household and what is lawful for her girls. She shall consider a field and buy it from her profits. She shall plant a vineyard. She shall gird herself with strength and strengthen her arms. She shall taste when her gain is good. Her lamp does not go out by night. She shall stretch out her hand to the distaff or spindle. And her hand shall hold the spindle. She shall extend her hand to the poor, and she shall reach out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household is dressed in scarlet. She shall make tapestry for herself. She is dressed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates. When he sits among the elders of the land, she shall make fine linen and sell them, and shall give girdles for the merchants strength and splendor are her garments and she rejoices in time to come she shall open her mouth with wisdom and on her tongue is the torah of loving commitment she watches over the house of her household and does not eat bread of idleness her children shall raise up and shall call her blessed. Her husband too, and he praises her. Many daughters have done nobly, but you have risen over them all. Loveliness is deceptive and prettiness is vain. A woman who fears Hashem is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. Thank you for watching slash listening. Please play these while your child sleep or during meditation. Shalom. Please like, subscribe, share.